Drew begin. Uh, to, mm, hold on, just let me. <sighs> okay, Ross, were you and Rachel on a break? No. New York City, the Big Apple. This is where people come to live their dreams. Hi, this is me. My name is Emma. Growing up, my mom always told me about the fun she had in New York. She told me stories about her and dad, Aunt Monica and Uncle Chandler, Uncle Joey and Aunt Phoebe. Now, I'm here to start my own adventure. Mom and dad have a complicated relationship these days. This is not the best time to get divorced. Are you suggesting that there is a good time to get divorced? It's just, you and Ross have been married and divorced seven times now. Bummer. Now, Dad's getting remarried. He invited Mom to the wedding, but she really didn't want to go. Yellow. Hey, so, sorry, I was sound, sound asleep. Um, you're right. Uh, it's, it's important, of course, I'll be there. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you then. She won't admit it, but I know she still has feelings for him. This is the second time Mom has taken a flight to see Dad at a wedding. Dad was supposed to pick her up from the airport, so Mom planned a little practical joke. But Dad sent his fiance instead. That's her. Rachel! Rachel! Yahoo! Oh, God. Rachel. Yep, Dad and Emily are getting married again. Dad's been super busy planning the wedding, and Emily is determined to make the marriage work. I am having a wedding. I am owed a wedding. Mom said it was a little awkward. About earlier, I just wondered whether we should keep your feelings for me secret. I just don't feel the same way anymore. And I haven't for years. Then why are you so nervous around me? Look at you. I guess Mom and Dad are just in different places now. Besides, Dad said he's really happy with Emily now. So, Mom works for Ralph Lauren, where she runs the Bloomingdale's division. Uh, well, we were just going over your fourth quarter earnings, and I wondered if I was missing something. She pulled some strings and got me a job here in New York. It's a lot of work, but sometimes I feel like a waitress because all I do is serve coffee. Mom said I should move into the apartment she shared with Aunt Monica. It's really cute. I even like the purple walls. My roommate is my cousin Erica. Her parents are Uncle Chandler and Aunt Monica. And just like Aunt Monica, she's a little obsessive. Are you cleaning this up? Are we gonna hire someone? Erica had a difficult time after she found out Monica and Chandler weren't her real parents. I know you're confused and hurt. And I am too. My cousin Jack took it especially bad. Come on, you guys are liars. You lied to her and you lied to me. You could have just told us the truth. You know, this would be better if you just yelled at me. I know Aunt Monica took it hard. I wanted to tell you every single day. Is it a lie that we love you? Both of you? Please don't be sad. Luckily, Uncle Chandler made it all better. Boopy boopy boop boop boopy boopy boop boop. We had a big New Year's Eve party last year, and Aunt Monica and Dad even busted out the routine. It's just me and Erica here. Oh yeah, and Aunt Phoebe. Turn the light on, I feel like I'm talking to a sex offender. She lives with us too. But we call her Aunt Sassy because she's always got something to say. I don't want to see that! She's staying with us while she gets back on her feet after spending six months in prison. Oh, the cornrows! Yeah. Oh yeah, my roommate did it. She was busted after breaking into an animal shelter and stealing 200 cats. Her more? I thought she gave me all the cats. Why is she spreading around the cat? Listen, you're gonna find this to be very funny, but I have a small problem. Well, don't tell me that when I can't do anything. Jesus! Let's say it was a crazy couple of months after that. Uncle Joey moved to L.A. a long time ago, and he's still trying to make it as an actor. He starred in one film, Mac and Cheese, the movie. It was a massive success. In Japan, 
He can't even go to a Japanese restaurant anymore without getting recognized. Oh, yeah. We love you. <laughs> Sonic. There you go. Go on. Konnichiwa. Over the years, we've had some crazy adventures. Like the time Smelly Cat died and Aunt Phoebe made us hold a funeral. And now, let's take a 10-minute silence so we can all think about all the joy he brought into our lives. There was one time Dad had a makeover. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Aunt Monica faked her own death. You know, I always thought it would be fun to die and get to see your own funeral. But it'd be awesome to be able to hear what people had to say about you and to see who was crying and who wasn't. Goodbye for now. And Uncle Chandler joined a pro hockey team. Oh. I've never been in so much pain in my entire life. Get up, I'm gonna knock you right back down again. It's cold out here. Aunt oh, Monica thought she had the Ebola virus. <gasps> Your forehead's warm. Does it feel anything like this? Holy crap, we're both sick. We need fluids. And Uncle Joey lost his sandwich. Are those tears in your eyes? This is very upsetting. Yep, so I'm excited to start my new life here. I've already found this really cute coffee shop where I hang out, but the waiter is a little weird. I'll leave this place and never return. Yep. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of crazy adventures here in New York. It's just me, the city, and all of my pals. Hurry up and get ready, guys. My brother Ben is going to be here any minute. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this trailer for a Friends reboot starring me as Emma. Did you?